Welcome back, folks. We are playing Dyson Sphere, and we have a bit of power here on our new world that we moved to or flew to in the last one. So we have our little mall, we have our power, we have a very, very bright star, and it's time to start building towards the goal of setting up a Dyson Sphere. So what's first? Well, first I guess is some more of these frame materials, which means more carbon nanotubes. So I think I am going to set up a carbon nanotube production as the very first thing. Yeah. And I think I'm going to do it from here. So that means we want spiny form stalagmite crystals here. And they're made in a chemical plant, right? Yeah, chemical facility. Okay, so we have 30 of those. So it makes two every four seconds, means one every two seconds, which means that we need 60 chemical plants in order to make this 30 a second. I don't have 60 chemical plants, and we're not producing them at home, so even though I am requesting them, somewhere. I'm not getting them. But it's not a problem. Uh, we are already making some, we just need to make more. So let's grab the chemical plants that we have. Uh, should we rotate it? No, this is best. Uh, let's get the spiny form stalagmite crystals out first. So that we can see where we should be. And we should be right here. One, two, three. Um, do we want to build them that close? Not really. And also, I want to select the recipe. Uh, do we want to send the end product back in here? I think we do. Carbon nanotubes. Which means that we'll also want some of these. So we'll send the end product back in here. Let's drag this out because I added a mod to the game. Which makes life a lot easier. And that's not far enough. There. Oh, that's the wrong way. Let's come out to here. And then we actually need a return on this side as well. Um, I think we'll run it up and a 
come on to the same line. So if we copy you, stick you there. And we can stick you here. And we can run a belt all the way up. And there. And there, I think. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, sorters, we need an input here, an input here, an output here, and an output here. You don't need to be so long. So now, with this mod, which is so cool, we can copy this, and it will copy the sorters as well, which is just amazing. It saves so much work. How many was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So yeah, it's it's just an absolutely amazing mod. It's called uh, Copy Inserters. And if you're not already using it, I highly recommend using it because it just makes building so much faster. So much faster. Oops. It's, it, it's amazing. I mean, before I, I would have set these 30 machines up now and would have to stick in the sorters afterwards. Now it's just done. It's just done. I love it. Now do we want to do these? And I think the answer is no right now. Because we quite simply don't have super much power. Why are we colliding there? So we have around 180 megawatts of power on the planet now, and that's not going to cut it. And certainly not if we waste power on having our uh, power poles uh, draining it. But they do look cool. They do look very, very cool. Let's take a quick look at one. Uh, come on. Look at this. That is so cool. That looks pretty darn cool to me. But they also... They have an idle consumption of 360 kilowatts. That's almost as much as our solar panels, uh, one solar part panel can provide. So drain, using that, all that power without having to doesn't seem wise to me. All right, so this will be local storage, remote demand. And here we go. Out come our Logistics vessels. Did they take off from here? They did. Ten thousand four hundred on the way. Beautiful. So that's the first step in getting to our goal of building a Dyson sphere. Uh, next step. Let's see, we want more of these, right? Yeah. So, titanium 
alloy. Titanium alloy. We need more of that. For that, we need titanium, steel, and sulfuric acid. Okay. It takes 12 seconds to craft. But it crafts four, so that's... Three... So that's one every three seconds, right? Yep. Which means we, we need 90 machines. Making these to fill a belt. 90. Okay. We can do that. Uh, so... Where did it go? There. Three inputs. And an output. Okay. So, let's copy you. There. And it was titanium ingots, steel, and sulfuric acid, and titanium alloy. And here we will need this. And remote storage. Did I not put... There. Let's power you up. Okay. Let's take some of you and some of you in there. And then sulfuric acid is, uh, so these, this is made in a smelting facility. Sulfuric acid is the biggest ask. So if we do sulfuric acid here, Sulfuric acid here, and then do titanium here, sure. And we need production, smelting, oh, I need some smelters. Yeah, copy you over there. And then we need steel. Here and steel here, and then we need titanium alloy here. All right, we're going to need a lot of belt. This is a very, very long build. Tiny form crystals are coming in, and we are making carbon nanotubes. We should be making 30 a second. 
Oh, I forgot to do this, and we'll leave this open and this for long because we are going to extend it. It's going to be double as long. It's going to be double the length. Okay. What is this? That's not how it's supposed to be. Okay. Let's continue out a little bit. Because I think we're gonna need it. Okay, there's a little acid lake there. So we could, in reality, get sulfuric acid from this planet, but... Meh. I kind of like the idea that we're bringing it in from elsewhere, and we have 60 of it being produced. Right. Oh, that is one more thing that I want. It's perfect that we have a slot for it. And let's just do 10,000. Okay, so here, uh, transportation or logistics. So we want. Sulfuric acid, uh, titanium, titanium, sulfuric acid. We want steel. Oh, that one's wrong. And we want titanium alloy. Steel, titanium alloy. Okay. So again, just shift click, copy, and boom, our sorters are being copied. Isn't it fantastic? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's thirty. So there's thirty there. We're gonna need more, but I need some foundation for that. So let's just give that a second. I also need some more smelters and some more sorters, I think. Some sorters we have here. Let's grab 500 more smelters. Let's grab just a couple of hundred more. And did we get any? Nope, not yet. Oh, here it comes. Nope, that's spiny form stalagmite crystal. Come on, bring me my foundations. I know you can. Well, while we wait for them, we can just take this out, the ones that we can. Turn. 
turn. So that was 30. Still didn't get any. Dang it. Alright, well, what we can do then is just copy the other side. Isn't it awesome that you can do this with the with the sorters? I freaking love it. It saves so much time. So much time. It's amazing. There we go. And on this side, you can actually keep going. Uh, 31, 1, 2, 3, 4. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Just that little bit that we need to foundation over, and now we have the foundations to do it. Beautiful. There. There. And copy you. And here we go. We just need a bit of power, and we're all set. There we go. Let's take a look at power. Will it fit in between? No. That's fine. Uh, you're going the wrong way. So power will be here and here. And that's here. It's basically right where they where one of its fields of Influence ends there, the next one needs to be. So that's nice and easy. We will be using the bigger uh, power satellite things later, but I don't want to do it until we have the artificial suns up and running, I think. Because it's just too much power wasted just sitting there all right so let's see local demand remote demand local demand remote demand local demand remote demand and local supply remote supply steel steel We have a little problem with steel. So... We have a nice 3 million iron vein here. We have two of them and a copper vein. How many miners do I have? 27. Let's grab 60 of those. Just 
still not getting steel, right? Nope. Alright, let's... Hmm... Actually... I could just... In order to not have to... Uh... Set up miners and smelting iron plate and stuff like that... We could just... Set up... A steel smelting setup... Like right here... I think we'll do that. Now, do we want to stick down actual foundations under our productions? I don't know. If you have an opinion on it, let me know. Should we be s sticking concrete under our actual production lines? Or should we just leave it as a pristine world? Well, pristine except that it's flattened. Let me know what you think. So here we want uh, iron ingots. We certainly want power. We also want steel and we want space warper but you know what let's just grab space warper from here so it has space warper okay So steel is one every three seconds. It's three iron to one steel. So we can put up ten in a row in a row. Ten smelters in a row. So if we do Let's see, iron ingots. Let's uh, grab a smelter. We'll start here, I think. Then we have iron ingot coming out here. this one and we'll have steel coming back and the back line or the return line we can actually have ten or three lane three lanes of production for one return line so we'll have an output here as well And then we want iron ingots again. And I think it'll be there, I hope. Yeah. And then we'll have a outbound line again. 
return line. And then we'll have an iron ingot line. And then we can do this sort of setup one more time. So we can have steel coming back there. Then we can have uh, iron ingots coming out. Steel. Ingots. Uh, steel. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And iron ingots. So with this setup, we'll be making 60 steel a second, which hopefully is enough. Let's just extend this to out here. See if that is long enough. I think it is. And let's stick some sorters in. So you go in there and you go out there. Okay. So could have made this a little bit more efficient by not having, by just having one, two, three lanes here, but no, output lanes, but never mind. Never mind. Uh, so let's try copying you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, so it was more than long enough. So there. That's how long it needs to be. So let's just do this. Why is that going that way? That's a mistake. So it should be going this way. And you are going this way. To here. Like that. So that's the outputs coming together. that and this one is inbound right yeah into into uh, the transport station so that's what it will look like. Okay, let's copy you. Ooh, I wonder if I'll have it. space for power here. I probably won't, uh, but we'll have to use the, the big ones then. 
it'll be fine. It'll be fine. There. See how fast this is? It is super duper fast. It's so nice. Let's see, power. I do not have room for power poles anywhere, so we'll use these guys. Auto saving, auto saving, auto saving. Uh, where can we fit them? Fit one there. And I think we'll have to take out a solar panel. Yeah. Let's try you. there. Okay, everything has power. Good. Then all we need to do is say local, demand, remote storage. No, local, storage, remote, demand. Ah, demand. And local supply, remote supply. That's all good. And we have 10,000 on the way in. And I actually... No, that's fine. This is fine. So this is pretty cool. And that will get these going. So now that we have those, then we need high purity silicon, which we already have. So next time we can set up frame material production here. Oh, we're gonna need to produce a lot more photon combiner. Is this this is optical grading crystal we have that being mined a lot so we can easily set this up graphene we're already making a lot of and it's easy to make so that's not a problem I think So that'll be the solar sails and processors we're already making a lot of so but we're going to have to make more i'm pretty sure uh, let's take a quick look here can we research the next one yes we can and we also need to unlock the universe matrix Pretty darn cool. So there we get white science going. Okay. Let's just clean up our inventory a little bit. I do love not having to have any kind of raw materials in my my thing. That is so nice. No, we could just run steel over here. And you know what? I think we will. There you go. missing power. One little thing is missing power. Darn it. I don't get why we're not getting more steel though. It's 
one every three seconds. But it takes three of those every three seconds. Ah, I'm stupid. So we can actually make these 30 long. <laughs> That's why. That's why I can do math. So we can extend these to be 30. That's kind of nice. I did think it felt a little bit short and chubby, this build. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to do that. I'll do that in between episodes so you don't have to sit through it. But we are producing our titanium alloy. Which is wonderful. And we are also out of time. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're enjoying the pros progress we're making. And uh, if you did, why not leave a like and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time.